The Legend of Zelda, a game series that began with its first title in 1986, has spawned countless adaptations and crossovers with its memorable characters and many magical artifacts. The MacGuffin of the fifth game, The Ocarina of Time, is, you can probably guess it, The Ocarina of Time. A treasured heirloom of the royal family, one that can be used to open the door of time and retrieve the Master Sword. Its origins are unknown because history has only spoken very briefly of it. Is what it says on Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've never played The Legend of Zelda, like any of them. I've heard that Breath of the Wild is amazing and that the first few are iconic, and that the timeline is uh, more of a time scribble? But beyond that, my knowledge fails me. But this dude, he wants to see it. So after procrastinating for four months, here it is, the Ocarina of Time. For this build, you won't need that many materials. Just modeling clay, blue paint, Mod Podge, and Aluminum Tape. What you will need is patience. I spent days and days just waiting for this thing to dry every time I wanted to work on it. And it took me a few tries to even get close to how I wanted it to come out. First, take the clay and model a teardrop shape about 5 by 3 inches. Cut this exactly in half to get two pieces. These will act as the mold for the central cavity of the ocarina. Once they are dry, take some more clay and model the two halves of the ocarina. For the top half, I carved out where the note hole should go and I modeled the top part of the mouthpiece. To ensure that there would be an unobstructed air channel to the middle of the instrument, I modeled this part around a popsicle stick. For the second half, I did much the same thing except I carved out a piece for the whistle hole at a 45 degree angle to the air channel. Once those halves were dry, I taped them together. Now it's not super important for everything to line up perfectly. Mine didn't. As long as your mouthpiece turns out perfectly symmetrical. I then used clay to both stick the two halves permanently together and also to fill out the form because of how asymmetrical the edges were. I also used the clay to model the band around the mouthpiece. If you look at the in-game model, there seems to be a metal band with a Triforce insignia on it here. So I carved out the Triforce into it and waited for it to dry. Use a few coats of blue paint to get a nice bright color, and once that's dry, use a few coats of Mod Podge to make the body shimmer. This is where it should start to come together. Use the aluminum tape to wrap the Triforce band. Make sure not to cover the whistle hole, and also to push the tape into the insignia using a pen or pencil. This last step is very important. Blow into the mouthpiece and hear the soothing tones of the instrument that you created. Beautiful. In all reality, you could probably make a working ocarina using this method. I just didn't have the time, skill, or effort. So, there you go. Your very own ocarina of time. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future props, then leave them in the comments below. And if you built along, let me know where to find it, because I'd love to see it. And finally, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, then subscribe and turn on the bell to get notified when I upload next.